All right, so when it comes to live streaming and content online in general, your audio plays a huge important role in deciding the overall vibe and quality and presentation of your content. And you know, new streamers, podcasters, and YouTubers are you know, sometimes really confused and even worried about how do I get really good audio quality? How do I get the audio quality that my favorite streamer or YouTuber has? And then they check the description and see the mic they're using is like 50,000 rupees or $1,000 in the US. And then they get disheartened because they definitely don't have the budget as they're just getting started. But what if I told you, you could get really good audio quality on a budget. And if you're willing to put in the work in editing, you could get better audio quality compared to your favorite streamer. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a product that enables you, that allows you to do that. It comes from the folks over at Ant Esports. Gamers, this is the Ant Esports Vente 220. It's a RGB USB microphone with a cardioid polar pattern, and it retails for 2,500 rupees online. And in this video, let's talk about it. All right, so starting off with the unboxing, the basics, you know, you get the mic itself and it is, you know, well protected. The packaging was good in my opinion. You get your, you know, QR code for your online manual, which is really nice. They're trying to save paper and you have your warranty card. Maybe, you know, someday you can shift this online as well. That saves more paper. And then you get the USB type A to type C cable. Again, moving to type C for you know, all USB devices is really nice. I appreciate Anti Sports going with type C. It's a good, you know, long enough cable that will allow you to connect it to your PC. And that's pretty much it. You can also use it on laptops and stuff like that. But that's the unboxing experience and that's the box. Now talking about the mic itself and talking about the design and build quality, this does resemble a lot of the you know, other USB microphones on the market. It has a very simple yet minimal design in my opinion. It's not too gamery like some brands are you know, going with alien shaped microphones. I don't like that. I like simple microphones because not everyone is a gaming live streamer. Someone wants to do podcasting, someone wants to do just IRL streams. They're not into gaming at all and still want to use your product. It has to have that neutral, you know, subtle design that it can you know, blend into any setup and that you know, design is, you know, present here. I actually like how this mic, you know, looks and feels. It is made out of plastic. Majority of the mic is made out of plastic, but it's really good quality plastic and there's some weight to it. It does feel premium for the price and the build quality is actually pretty good. The stand is very sturdy. There's no creaking sound. It's not loose. You can actually dial in the exact friction that you want on the stand with using this screw here. And the top part of the microphone is made out of metal, including the grill here. So I really like that. And again, you have your basic knobs and you know dials here. So first things first, it's gonna be the LED button, which is allowing you to change you know, the light color that the top of the microphone has. So as you, you know, keep pressing the microphone's you know, LED button, you'll cycle through the different effects and colors it has. And you also have the mic gain switch, which will you know, increase or amplify the sound that's coming out of this mic. Then you have your volume for your in-house monitoring, the zero latency monitoring that is built into this microphone. You can plug in a 3.5 mm jack right here and you know it'll give you the real-time preview of whatever you're speaking and there's also a type c port that's how the mic is powered and there is also a fun little feature here that is the echo dial which i will you know display or try to you know present to you guys how it works uh, later on in this video so the echo dial adds echo to your sound or reverb in audio you know technical terms and i kind of like it now talking about the best highlight features the things that i like about this microphone First things first is the touch mute system on top. So this part here is touch sensitive. So let's say your mic is turned on, you press it and the mic is muted. You press it back again and mic is turned on. Again, you could do that with the mute switch or the you know gain knob on the microphone, but this is really handy and really quick. Doesn't take more than two seconds. Let's say someone just walks into your room while you're streaming, just press the top of the mic and again it's muted you can talk to them once they're gone press it back again anything could happen you might have to attend someone on your door 
this feature is really handy in my opinion. You get a call or something like that. There's lots of practical use cases for actually having a you know, touch mute system. And I really like it that they've included it in such a cheap price. There's also another feature that's built in here and that is gonna be the noise reduction feature. So holding this touch mute system for about two seconds is gonna enable the noise reduction feature. And the noise reduction feature is gonna allow you to, you know, cancel out all the background noise that is happening. So maybe your keyboard, your mouse clicks, and you know, just the overall general background noise that is happening in your room. So that's really handy in my opinion. And again, holding it back in disables it. So let's say you actually want the background noise to come in. Maybe there's multiple people talking, then yes, that you know, totally depends upon you. But I really like that there is such handy, useful features at this price. And then it's plug and play. As I said, there's no drivers, there's no software installation. You plug in this microphone and it's ready to go in softwares like Discord, your games and OBS. And if you have a recording software like Audacity, it'll be you know, instantly detected. So that's that. Again, USB, that's the you know, advantage you have. And then you also have, as I said, zero latency monitoring, live preview of your audio using the 3.5 mm headphone jack. I recommend using good headphones. I have you know, monitoring headphones, which give me the flat raw output of what the mic is gonna be recording. So that's really nice. And that's pretty much it. The LED RGB function is also something that a lot of people like. And you know, I have grown to like it as well. The LED effects are not too flashy, just the you know, grill on top, the capsule part of the microphone lights up in different colors. Again, it's not true RGB, you can't really use a software, but there's a bunch of effects and a bunch of colors that you can cycle through. And depending upon the vibe of your setup, the environment of your setup, you can dial in a you know, certain color and go with it. Like I have pink in my background on my you know, lights, so I could dial in pink on the mic. So that's really nice. And it just adds a little bit of color to your setup you know, in the background, so it's a little more interesting. So that's that. All right, so those are the good things. Those are the positives that I actually like about the microphone. One drawback that I think this microphone has is that it lacks a mounting option, like you know, some sort of a 3 8 inch or a quarter inch jack towards the bottom that will fit into you know, standard tripods or boom arms. And a lot of streamers do use it. Now there is a way to mount this microphone on a tripod or a you know, boom arm as I said, but you'll require an adapter and you'll have to remove the stand which has a normal you know, tripod mount which cameras and other microphones have. So again, it's not accessible or very easy, but it's possible. So it's not like it's not there, it's not possible. You can do it, but again, you'll have to buy a separate adapter and that's pretty much it. So that's that. And talking about the stand itself, there is you know, a foam sort of material on the bottom so it doesn't, you know, slide around like there is a little bit of grip there so that's really nice and the stand itself in my opinion is really nice it's you know weighted it has some weight to it so it doesn't really wobble or anything there is no like you know noises from the stand while recording it's really you know smooth and nice for the 2500 rupees price that this mic is selling at I really like it. And talking about some of the technical you know, things about this microphone, you do have a cardioid polar pattern. Now a cardioid polar pattern means that the mic is gonna pick up the majority of the sound from the front and a little bit from the back and it's gonna totally cancel out the sides. So that's that. And let's say you're doing an interview, you could have this mic in the you know, center, you're talking and your other person is talking. If you're podcasting, again, similar thingy, but it's your, let's say you're live streaming, you could, just place it in front of you and that's pretty much it. Turn on the noise reduction feature and you won't get any background noise or you know keyboard clicks and stuff like that. Talking about sound, the most important part about any microphone is how it sounds. No matter how good it looks, how much RGB it has, how good the build quality is, if it doesn't sound good, it deserves to be in the bin. So with that being said, let's get to the sound quality. All right, so now you're listening to the audio quality of the Ant Esports Vente 220 RGB microphone. And right at the bat, I'm gonna demonstrate the noise reduction feature. Right now, the noise reduction feature is on, and I'm gonna turn it off so you guys can get a feel for how the actual audio quality is around this environment. I have turned off the noise reduction feature and a little bit more of the background noise is coming in. You can hear you know, kids playing and screaming outside. And I'm typing on a red switch keyboard, again, from Ant Esports. This is their MK1200 Mini, and this is what I recommend for streamers. Don't go with blue switches. You will not be able to cancel out blue switches while streaming because they'll make a lot of noise. So red switches is the way to go. And now I'm gonna turn on the noise reduction feature. So again, you touch the top of the microphone for two seconds, like hold it. And now you can see that 
a lot of the background noise has been cut out. You don't hear the kids screaming anymore, at least not a lot. And even the keyboard sound is minimized. Now let me also demonstrate the fun echo feature that this has. So as I'm talking now, you guys can actually get the reverb. It feels like an announcement, like a conference hall or something like that. Again, I don't know a practical use case. Like, ladies and gentlemen, we're reviewing the anti-sports Vente 220 today. But again, as I said, there is no, like, what do you say, practical use case that I have right now for the echo feature, but you could use it just to, you know, troll people in game or something like that. But that's pretty much it. And again, I am actually hearing my audio through the, you know, zero latency monitoring. I have plugged in these headphones. These are monitoring headphones. They'll give you like a flat sound representation of what the mic is recording. So that's that. And I will also, you know, demonstrate how the knobs and the switches sound while you're recording. So this is the LED button. So again, as I said, you should set up the microphone, you know, with the colors and stuff, all the settings before you start recording, before you start streaming, because the buttons might annoy some people. So that's that. And yeah, some of the other knobs. This is how the microphone, you know, the volume knob sounds for the headphones. This is the echo <laughs> knob. And there's also a mic gain knob. So I'll just demonstrate that as well. So as I increase the gain, you can hear a lot more of the sound, but I wouldn't recommend you know, that much gain. I'd always suggest you, you know, keep the microphone to a less or a lower gain setting and then actually amplify or boost your audio in editing or in your software because that's how you get the least amount of background noise. So that's that. And as I'm saying, this microphone actually has a very, you know, sensitive capsule in my opinion. So again, I would record at a lower gain setting. So that's the audio quality, guys. You've been listening to the audio quality for a while now. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about the audio quality. In my opinion, it's really nice. And I actually like how this microphone sounds. For 2,500 rupees, it's got a really good quality capsule inside. And again, the best feature, the touch mute system. And again, touching the top again gets the voice back. So I really like that. I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't review a lot of microphones, so this is my first time. You guys can give me feedback on how I should do things differently in the future. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun watching this video. Again, I really recommend this microphone for beginner streamers, you know, podcasters, YouTubers who wants to do voiceover, play games and stream them to Twitch or YouTube gaming. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, queries about the microphone. I'll leave links down below to anti esports website as well as you know online websites that are selling this mic. Help the channel out by buying from those links. And again, all you need to know about the microphone is in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. But that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.